Hello everyone. Uh, coming back again. Welcome to uh, Sam's Blogs. Um, as you remember, the last time I had to do the transmission fluid for my 2019 Honda Pilot. Now what I'm gonna do is to check the level, make sure that the level is correct or it's in the right level at least. So. Um, uh, by the way, special shout out to uh, Sigma Filipinas, uh, Chairman Jeff Manyalap, and uh, Vice Chairman Alan Madrid, and the rest of the members, Clyde and the rest. Uh, thank you for the support. And also to uh, CFMPI Pangasinan Chapter. po yung uh, inatasan na uh, acting, acting lang naman uh, president, acting president of safe MPI so hopefully lalago yung grupo natin and uh, uh, I'm recruiting, anyway if you guys want to uh, uh, message me and to be a member I'm willing to help you out to the National CFMPI President Dante Nigo and Arnold Nigo, hello uncles, and to the rest of the uh, CFMPI Pangasinan chapter. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. So uh, let's continue. What we're gonna do here is, to, as I said, to check the level of the transmission fluid of the 2019 Honda Pilot and. This is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take this tire out for the uh, driver's side of the vehicle. And it was right there. Uh, it's just hard to look at. But for now, we have to take the tire off. And we just use rinse to take the tire off, of course. And um, a jack stand and a jack course that's it and make sure you have to choke the uh, you see the brakes that's the one I use because I don't have the real choke to uh, you know to avoid the car from moving while uh, we're doing this and hopefully that will be safe enough for me to do the job all right let's do it okay so we got the tire off and I have to put the tires below here just to add additional support there so another safety Filipino style but anyway as you can see here this is the one I'm telling you guys this is the drain plug here well actually this is the, the another drain plug where we're gonna check the level make sure we don't have any more the uh, uh, exist fluid in there so it would be uh, we're getting the right performance of the vehicle so we just have to put this one take this off just like that lift it tidy that's still the uh, 8 mm allen rings and i use this any kind of uh, uh, close and open rings i just need use an extension here as i my leverage so it will be easier for me to take it off okay so lift it tidy Here we go. All right. So I don't know if you got a closer look here. There, just like that. Brrr. 
boy is asking me what did I eat lunch I didn't eat lunch yet hard to do it by one hand so one hand in the tools and one hand on the camera but anyway let me see if I can get it from here to get a good angle so here we go I figure it out I have to uh, get the other angle of this one I have to switch this around instead of doing that and do it on the bottom I try to do it this way it was like that earlier like that but then kind of hard time doing it on the bottom so I have to do it this way and let's see from there oops kitty oops yeah there you go that was easy Oh, I forgot to put the pan on. Let's get the pan. Make sure if ever there's a little drain on it, it won't spill anywhere. So just like that, guys. Hopefully. spot right there just like that and let's continue to loosen this up since they just give us three drain plugs probably um, this one's still good. We still have to put this back on. Okay, guys. So, see if I can do it by my hand. That easy. Is the pan okay? It's in the right position right there in the bottom. Okay. Make sure I minimize this peel oil spill or the fluid there you go so that one there wait until it stop leaking or it's dripping only then we can put it back the drain flag that means we're in the right level there we go Let's get that back there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little scared to uh, drain too much on there. So I guess, as I said, I'm not a mechanic and I don't use anything else, but all, all of the ideas I know, just trying to share it to you. I'm not a pro, but yeah so let's put it back on that's hopefully good enough we got to drain it a little bit there and by the way I come to realize also that when I put the jack on on this side the car is lopsided guys it's a lopsided or it's not balanced so what I did I had to put the other jack stand on the other side on the passenger side of this car so that way
it's leveled so yeah there we go let's put that back on now let's put it back on and tight for now so as I said I just put the uh, new I mean uh, not new but the same stock the one it, it's in there already yeah so this is what I'm saying just to make sure we're trying to get the level how would you get the level if the car is lopsided that way so what I did I jack I jack it up here and put the uh, other jack stand so it will be level so as you can see the car is level now earlier it was like this and now it's at, at least I would say leveled so it for today I just gonna tighten that up and put them together put the put the tires back on put it here and of course I use a torch wrench to torch wrench I got a torch wrench here at Pittsburgh I'm not trying to uh, promote Pittsburgh but yeah it's a good it's a good tool I have no complaint so and I bought this from uh, Fright Harbor Tools if you guys just doing it DIYs you're not doing any for business or anything I guess these are uh, good tools for uh, yeah, DIYs you know okay so I will cut the video again guys thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe Sam's Blog have a good day magingat po tayo and uh, be safe stay away from the toxics bye bye guys i'll see you again next time